Hi guys and welcome to Forge Right. Thanks for dropping in. If you haven't seen the channel before, my name's Andy. The channel is based around learning to become a blacksmith, starting as an absolute beginner. I cover setting up the forge, making the tools required to start smithing, learning basic techniques and developing your skills. I also make metal fabrication videos, which can be very helpful when trying to build some of the tools and equipment that you'll need to use in the workshop. So let's roll the intro and get started on today's video. Let's have a look inside this box, eh? See what we've got here. Nice new Australian made scorpion grinder. Came from Fire Pants Fabrication. Or Fire Pants Fab, as they tend to be known. Thing I find here is a uh, lovely on off switch so good good big buttons that you can see easily and should work well and over there this is the three horsepower motor So it should be big enough to do everything I want to do and have the power to be able to uh, keep going for a long period of time after I've well and truly moved on. I'm hoping I can pick it up without having to grab that control box on the top there. <laughs> Right, lovely, nice big shaft with a keyway there, sloping keyway I see, nicely greased up, RCG motor group, single phase, right so main thing for this point in time is to figure out how I bolt this thing down now there is a video and a PDF file that came with this so that I know how to construct it but the main thing to know is the size of this and how big a plate I need on top and also once it's up that way how high off the ground it needs to be to be at a good working height right guys um, I've moved down here onto the um, the main framework all of the main parts we've got the motor over here with the controller um, so we're gonna have to get in here and have a look at this um, package here that has the rest of the components in it and see if we can identify everything for a start which is what the instructions tell me to do I know it's just not Australian it's just totally un-Australian to read the instructions ah uh, good yes some test belts they're the um, Oh, Cubitron, they're the ones, Cubitron belts, just three test belts to uh, see how I feel about them, they supply those with them, get rid of that. Documentation here, five pants, fabrication, scorpion belt grinder, just a bit of info. Um, I do see this is my invoice, yes, my invoice, keep that one over there, and yes, 3M, Cubitron 2, 
industrial abrasives, shaping the future. Uh, not even going to be able to open that because I've got these gloves on because my hands are frozen. Yes, I have been able to open it up. So here we go. A bit of um, Weber abrasives information about the belts that they've delivered me. And uh, I'll probably use those into the future to uh, purchase more. Right. Here we have. Oh, that's all taped up really nicely. Right. The framework. So I'm going to have to get this out. Lay it all out. Excuse me. Lay it all out. Make sure it's all here. And uh, take it from there. Here's a five pants fabrication pamphlet talking about what they've got, what they can make, and they're happy to supply it. So you probably don't want me to see me do this, so I'll turn this off until I've got it all out, unpacked, and laid out. Now I'm trying to get this to go through here, so it's got to be tapped on. It better not be mashing those bloody threads, I can tell you. I'll be very upset. Right, so now you can see what I'm doing better. Like it's um, functioning all right at this stage. Let's turn that around for the viewers. So that's the platen there. Pull it back a bit and rotate it around. So now you can see how this goes onto here. You can loosen these off and pull your platen out a little bit or in a little bit here. That was where you had to have. It wasn't all of these nuts that have to be adjusted. It was just a nylock nut. That's why you didn't have a flat flanged nut on this one there's a whole reason why um, and these secure onto here so you can loosen those off and move it in and out to line it up with the edge of your belt okay I have um, got most of this in place now I think we were up to where I had put the platen on sorry about the light I'd put the platen on and that was about it I've now assembled this tool holder and bolted the tool holder on as well uh, I think I did show that I've assembled the 
work plate and arm and locking nut. So that mechanism is in and now I've slid it into there and it's lockable on and secure. So now I'm moving on to installing the tracking wheel. Okay, that gives you a view of most of the unit. So I've just put the 25 mil bolts through there as directed. I then slide that over there and slip that on to there. As you can see up there now this is on had a bugger of a time getting these things on i had to take the clips off which is really fiddly because fiddly, it wouldn't pop onto the balls but now they're on so the only thing i don't like about this is that's very sharp um and it seems to have you have to put a lot of pressure on there so this is too sharp for my liking i'm gonna have to do something about that oh that's so bloody oh, yeah. So bloody difficult. Has the nut on the other side. All right. Nylock nut. Why wouldn't you put that on before you put the bloody tracking wheel on? I mean, now the tracking wheel's in the bloody way. God. Have a think about the way you tell people to do things, eh? Where'd be nylock nut though? There it is. That's just dumb. You told me to put the tracking wheel on, and now I have to squeeze this thing in behind it. Now screw that. Jesus Christ, if you don't put that on first, you know, if I undo that a bit, take that off, slide that back out a bit. So now I've got the one on that side and I've magpied another one off my gear to put on that side. So now I can put that back through there, put a bloody washer on from my own. Then I can actually get in there to put this nylock nut on. If this was off altogether, it would help. <laughs> then I can actually get to it. You know, don't tell me to people to put this stuff on first, or that wheel on first, and then tell them to go in later and put something else on that that's in the way of. There we go. Let's put that on. So now we've got to attempt to try and get this thing back in again by lifting that up until it's in roughly the right place. Oh. Let's turn it back like so. Pick that up till it's roughly in the right place and slide it on. Should never have told me to put this on before this because the bolt from there is in between the wheel and the frame. And you just can't get in there to do it. Whereas if you do it the way I did and you put that on first, then you put the wheel on. Ah, where is it? There it is. Yeah, then it doesn't get in your way. So Jake, change that, mate. So we'll open this up. Oh. Let's get ourselves the first one which is a Cubitron, Cubitron 2, 40 grit belt. Apparently you don't need to worry about which way you put them on, so I'll hang that over there. And then we'll pull that down. Put the rest on, bingo. If we just pull that up, that pulls it back to there. Well, that's running pretty good by hand. So if I put that on there, now I put that on there. And I drop that down. And then we lock that back up again. There we go. That a bit. There we go. 
bit too far. Beautiful. Fifteen amp plugs over there where it's going to be mounted, but at the moment I'll just use a fifteen amp lead plugged into the fifteen amp plug. Hit the stop button here. So that's not mounted yet, but I'll just hit the stop button. Bloody oh, this is it guys. Let's see if this thing rotates. Hey, hey, that is beautiful. That is tracking perfectly on the belt. Beautifully down the side of the platen. Haven't touched it since doing it by hand. Love that. I'm very happy with that. First start, just run beautifully on the tracking wheel. Platen is just sitting perfectly there. There's no click from these beautiful belts. And uh, it was just, it's not bolted down, just perfectly stable. You look at this. No vibration whatsoever. Put my grinding gloves on. There you go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful radius off there. Okay, we've got this bit of a jagged edge here and a hip. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Let's get that down to a smooth finish as well. Look at that. Let's put a little corner on, uh, take a sharp corner off that as well. go. Beautiful radius on there now. So happy with that. And hasn't budged a millimeter on that bench. Not bolted down. Pretty impressed. Very impressed. Excellent. Okay, I'll come back tomorrow and uh, build the pedestal stand. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in today to watch the video on me putting together my Scorpion grinder, 2 by 72 inch belt grinder. Uh, very, very happy with the uh, overall construction. A few moments there where things didn't go quite to plan. Uh, some of the instructions on the video, Jake at um, Fire Pants Fabrication could probably do with a bit of a tweak, uh, but the product itself is exceptional and I'd recommend it to anybody. So my next step is to construct the stand to put it on. That video shouldn't be too far away. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. I was going to bolt it onto a bench and I decided no, I'd have it more mobile so it can be moved around and put in various places if I decide to reorganize my workshop. If you haven't already decided to subscribe, I hope you consider doing so. And if you do, the subscribe button is down there somewhere. You'll find both uh, past videos and playlists up in the corners up here. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching ForgeRight and make comments if you feel like you've got something to say about it or any questions you'd like to ask and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye.